So, Eddie Howe was taken to the media to talk about the finale game against Burnley FC at Turf Moor on Sunday. Today, we're going to talk about the press conference reaction and everything that's been going on around the team. This is Toon TV. Hello everybody, welcome back to Toon TV and another episode of the press conference reaction and the match preview. Today's match um, reaction, or not no match reaction, match preview um, is against Burnley and that's going to be taking place on Turf Moor um, on Sunday. Um, first of all, while that's got on, it's not about Newcastle. It's about the Everton situation. Now, a lot of things have been going on about Everton. Obviously, I've seen the videos this morning. Um, don't mind this stuff. I don't know what's going on with my camera at the minute. Um, about this, about, but... I had to get the video out for you guys. Um, yeah, turf, uh, not turf, more um, Goodson Park. Yeah, let let um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I need I want to know your um, comments on this. But I, the way that the commentators are saying it was a lovely sight to see, it's unreal. And if you saw me on um, two reviews um, 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 fan forum yesterday on Tuesday the nineteenth of May, um, we we were talking about the Everton. Thing. And you would see my reaction on it. Um, yeah, disgusting. Don't like it at all. And the way that they've gone up to Patrick Vieira and antagonised him and to comment, probably comments to him, been touching him and stuff. And the way, I, good on Patrick Vieira, in my opinion. Obviously, people have been saying, "Oh, Patrick Vieira, don't do that. You shouldn't be doing that to fans." Well, if the fan didn't do that in the first place, then I'm sorry. Then Vieira would never have done that. So just don't do it. And the fact they have to go and and this is also on the Sheffield United game. Don't go up to someone and hurt them. Like this fan, this Nottingham Forest fan ran up to Billy Sharp and it took him out. They said, that, and that's left Billy Sharp having to have four stitches. Luckily, the man's been jailed for four, for six months, twenty four weeks. Um, so that's good. They're taking they're taking control on that. But they're on about um deducting points, um for Everton, which I'd completely like. I love. I'd love that. Please do that. Please do that in Premier League. Anyway. Um, now I'm going to go on with the Newcastle thing. I just had to know your thoughts. Um, I had to let my thoughts be known. And as well, on this uh, Newcastle Night YouTube, I'm not going to get into it, but don't. Um, it's on the Ad Adam Pearson thing. Do, don't, just don't. Just don't go to another Newcastle. Start beef. We know you want to get views. And as a channel with hardly any views and hardly any subscribers, really, who's just, who's just starting out, just work. Just try and work. Don't actually... Go to someone just for views. I don't see the point in it. But what have I got to say? He's got way more subscribers than me, way more views. But that's just that's just it. That's probably why he's got that much. But we're going to get on with the press conference reaction today. We're not all about all this drama and stuff. Um, we're, we're talking about football and what's going on on the field, not outside. We're going to talk about that any other day. Um, but um, we're going to talk about Eddie Howe's press conference reaction. And we're also going to be talking about Burnley's um, previous games and stuff that's been going on. So we're going to get on with... Um, the press conference reaction. So we've got Eddie Howe won't be sentimental on Sunday. Um, that's a big hint to um, him picking a strong side. So it says, We will pick our strongest team and try and win the game. There's no let up from our perspective. We are determined to end the season on a high. Now, that's basically indicating no, because everyone's been saying about Eddie Howe, the players are going to be on the beach. The players are going to win the rest. They're all going to be on the beach. They're going to be doing what's the blah, 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 blah. But Eddie Howe's basically just broken that up. No, they're not on the beach. They're going to be in training, working till the very last whistle of the season. Then they can go on holiday. Then they can go on the beach. And then come back for summer pre-season. What I love from Eddie Howe, he's such a determined manager and wants to win every single game. No matter what, if it's Burnley, obviously he has that soft little thing for Burnley. Well, clearly not. Um, obviously, he does have that um, quarter of his heart. Burnley, obviously, previous manager for a bit. Um, as well as Cone Trippier, previous uh, player there. But, um, yeah, no doubt in my mind. I think what I wanted to do, if Everton didn't win their game yesterday, which I hope they get deductive points for, but they probably won't. Um, Premier League. Um, they will do it to Newcastle. Um, <laughs> get carried away. Um, what was that? What was I talking about? Um, 
forgot what I was talking about now. Anyway, we're going to carry on now. Um, yeah. For God's sake. Um, yes, yes. Um, he wants to win every single game. And he don't want players to go on holiday. And that's the thing. He wants to win every single game. And that's just why I love Eddie Howe and the players. Um, and how he's just so determined to get, like, to win. But it's not like Steve Bruce wanting to go on holiday before a big game. He wants to win every game, and then you can go on the hard work, the, uh, the rest that you've earned through hard work. That's what I love about Eddie Howe's Newcastle United manager. He takes the job seriously. Steve Bruce. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, I want my squad to be confident, ambitious. They have, they have to believe in big things, and we need to set targets internally. We also have to manage the expectation around the team. We don't want them to play under un unnecessary burden or pressure. That's it. We can't be under pressure. I know Newcastle United under pressure. We are not good at it. That's all I'm gonna say. If we're on the penalty shootout at Wembley, uh, nine times out of ten we might not do well because we don't we lack under pressure. I'm saying for me, I lack under pressure really. Well, that's good. Um, we need to set targets for the future. Um, obviously there's no point buying big players and not really doing anything with them. We need to buy. We need to set targets like reaching top six, reaching the Europa Conference League. Top 10. Um, I think I'd like a top 10. I don't want to aim for Europa. I don't think we're ready yet. But top 10 would be nice. And then we can take higher and higher and higher. Because we can only go higher and higher. That's the thing. The sky's the limit for Newcastle United. Um, yeah, the sky's the limit for Newcastle United. There's no, unless next season just takes a massive U-turn. And probably won't. Um, yeah, the sky's the limit for Newcastle United. And that's what, that's what I'm just looking forward to. Like, a year ago today, we are like, ugh. Do we really have to go through a new season of this? Like some Newcastle fans are thinking, "Oh, I don't want to watch this." Anymore. I'm, I, I'm, I'm on the verge of supporting a new team. Where I just don't want to watch them. And a year later, we're so excited for the summer and the next season, and we're so excited to buy these players, and we're so excited to see where this club is gonna go. What I love about this fan base, and it's what I love about what's going on in this club at the minute, and that's the way Toon Army works, and the. The business side of Newcastle United works that tempts the fans all the way over, and it, and the fact that it's like the reason I went to Newcastle United on against Wolves, the atmosphere and the players are playing well. That's why I wanted to go, and it's so exciting that it just tempts me to go, and that's what that's what they're doing to us. They're basically hypnotising us to go to a game. That's what and it works. That's what I love. Um. Anyway, Eddie, I'll talk about the summer now. I've got half an eye on the summer. I'm preparing and planning to make the, that summer um, cohesive um, as we can and try and get everything organised. But we've um, game play, game to play. We've two training sessions left, and we will get we'll be given our all to make the, the best training. So working hard, obviously working hard. Um, keeping one eye on the summer. He's all, pretty much already making plans. Um, we're who who are we talking? Dean Anson. I made a video yesterday. Um, ninety nine percent done. Come on, Dean. We know you can do it. Go permanent, please. It works out for both clubs, like I said yesterday. Come on, Dean. We know you got it in you. You're on the tune. It's the best experience you'll ever have. Um, so that's it. We should talk about the summer transfer window. He's got one eye, but most of it. He's got about a quarter of that eye on the summer transfer window and most of it on the games and the training sessions, which, is yet again, is what I'm saying. I just love it. And, yet again, not giving too much away to Burnley. Um... Eddie Howe will sit down with Matt Target um, on his futures. I, I view him as an integral member of the squad, he said. His attitude, conduct, performances and consistency have been the highest level. I really like him. We all like him, unfortunately, Eddie Howe. Um, you're not the only one who likes him, but we all like him. He's an absolute quality player. But yet, what are we to say? Um, the fact that Steven Gerrard might be watching these games and seeing him play at Newcastle. Bear in mind, he is on loan. He might bring him back to Aston Villa and go, you know what, we'll start you a game, see what you like. And he might do absolutely brilliant. And you will see him through pre-season. And you'll see, hmm, I might start you now. And that's just left left out from Newcastle United, unfortunately. But we never know. Matt Target, I can tell Matt Target really likes this. And he's and it's going to go a long way um, in this club. Um, um, right now, I'm going to talk about the players. We've already talked about Dean Anderson, so um, that's all Eddie Howe's got to say about the press conference reaction. Uh, now I'm going to have my say on everything. 
So, Callum Wilson on Monday. I've already expressed this on the match reaction. Absolutely incredible. He is a top-class player. If you saw my reaction to that goal, it obviously it weren't his goal, but it looked like it was when I first reacted to it. My God. I love you, Callum Wilson. I love you. And I do. You're such a good player. And the fact that we are still looking for a striker, because unfortunately, he can't stay fit. And that's the thing. I bet he's still bloody recovering from Steve Bruce, who never kept him fit. That's the thing. I think that's most of the players recovering. Bloody hell, Eddie has training is so good. I'm, I'm, I'm just so fit. And obviously, Callum Wilson is never fit, unfortunately. But, hey oh, that's the thing. Um, well, I'm also going to talk about the Lucas Paqueta thing, because I haven't commented on this. The pictures of Lucas Paqueta back garden with a Newcastle teacher on with Bruno. Obviously, there's a lot of people that ties into that YouTuber. Um, NUFC Fans TV, get a real name. Um, saying that Adam's done it. I know, I know he didn't say that he did it, but he's saying that he's a stalker. So basically, you are saying he's done it, but how? Why? I think even if they were using a drone, I think they did it, but the fact that he wetters wearing a Newcastle out of top. Um, and if you want, if you want to see my Instagram story, I put I put it on my Instagram story a few days ago. If you want to see, links down below. Cheeky. Um, yeah, Lucas Paqueta, lovely signing. That's why I. I I think the mo the one thing I'm looking forward to is either Nunes coming to Newcastle United would be absolutely amazing. Oh my God, how many goals he'd score! Um, I mean, there's no reason why he can't come to us, but the unfortunate reason is he wants Champions League football. That's the only thing we can't offer. We can't even offer Euro European or Conference League. We can't we can't offer like European trophies um, or world trophies um, at the minute, and we've got a reason. We're still, we're still financially that stupid, um, stupid idiot, Mike Ashley and Steve Bruce. Yeah, Lucas Paqueta being an absolute amazing signing. And obviously Bruno trying to get in his head, turning around Newcastle. This is that, this is this, this is that. He only wants to come to us. Um, I think he will. I, I honestly think he will. I think he will sign for us if we've got an offer up for him. But yeah, that's up to Eddie Howe and the director um, and the owners. I think I like him though. Um, that yep, yeah, it's not up to us. You never know. Leon could turn to us and go, "We're not selling. We can't. We can't afford to sell another player. If you come after us again, we can't afford it." And we know what Leon are like selling players. They're an absolute nightmare. And the reason that it took so long to officially announce Bruno Gamares is unreal. He got, I think, he got signed for like twenty seventh January. Got announced the thirty first or first of February. <laughs> How long it takes to announce a player? And when we're signing Matt Target and Dan Byrne, it took him like a day. Yeah, now so we know what Lee and I like um, doing that sort of stuff. But I'm also going to touch on uh, Fabian Shaw now. Uh, Fabian Shaw obviously went off really early in the second half to an elbow to Ed. Um, apparently he was swallowing his tongue. Um, so Emil Kraft went to save him. He saved him. Well done, Emil Kraft. Absolute legend. Saving one of your players from um, um, swallowing the tongue. Um, absolutely brilliant from Emil Kraft there. Obviously he had to go off. Um, Due to concussion reasons, might still have a concussion. Um, Eddie Howe's going to try him and train him. Obviously, it's very bad concussion. You get a lot of headaches and stuff. So, um, if he's not fit to play, fine. If there's only one game left of the season, you don't need him. Not a must need. But that's all good. Um, yeah, I don't, I, if I'm being honest, if he's on bench, fine. He's on bench, but I wouldn't start him. Better to be safe than sorry. In case he gets another one. That could really, really damage him, like badly. Um, that's all I've got to touch on today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this uh, match preview for the Burnley game. Make sure to check me out. Um, the live watch along, the final showdown on Sunday at 3:45 p.m. Off at 4 p.m. Make sure to catch me here live. Then on Sunday, 3:45 p.m. UK time. Uh, make sure to go follow my TikTok links in the description. Instagram link in the description. And what about some Newcastle United? Um, Cloven, links will also be in, in the description. Hope you guys did enjoy this match preview, and I'll see you later. Bye.